Now, I'm going to touch on some things here. I'm so sorry it's late. Do y'all have time? Did y'all go out, like, partying late? Okay. Do I, can I, do I have 10 more minutes? Okay. Well, I just need to know the building rules. If I've got to kick everybody out. I can talk faster than I'm talking. Okay, so years ago when I came to Nashville to minister, as I flew in to Nashville, I saw that the city was surrounded and controlled by two main spirits, a Jezebel and a Python spirit. Those of you that are intercessors, this is not news to you. As soon as I landed, I got a call from my head intercessor. She said, we've been praying for you today, and we feel like when you're there, you're going to see that the city is under the control of Jezebel and Python. I got three more emails from people telling me the exact same thing within an hour. So I'm walking back and forth in my hotel room, and I say, God, I don't understand everything that I'm seeing or hearing I don't understand why is that so entrenched in this city, Music City and all the great things, but why is it so entrenched here? And as I was walking and praying, I picked up a magazine, and the magazine said, Things to do in Nashville. And I opened up the page, and there's a picture of the Parthenon with a 43-foot statue of Jezebel with a thigh-high python snake right next to her. It is literally a pagan temple in the heart of your city that the church has authority over. But as long as we just say, well, that's them and this is us, it just continues to operate and it locks up the city. I will tell you, Nashville is slated to be one of the epicenters of the great awakening that God is bringing in the United States of America. Nashville is one of the main epicenters for this coming awakening. Why is this happening? It's because Nashville is an epicenter of this awakening. Why is God gathering people from across congregations? Because it's an epicenter. You know what an epicenter is? It means it starts here and it goes out like this. Maybe where you live, maybe where some of the people that are watching online, maybe where you live is going to be another of the epicenters. But I believe that God is looking for a people. And it doesn't even have to be thousands. It can just be hundreds or a few thousand. God's just looking for a people that will say, I believe that our job is to pull heaven into earth and to destroy every gate of hell, to destroy every power of darkness, to take out Jezebel and her throne. I believe that what is anchored here in the spirit is also controlling Washington, D.C., and it's also controlling California. I believe that when you see this shift here, you're going to see it shift there. I'm telling you, listen, I'm a, I'm a woman that came up in ministry, probably like Judy Jacobs did years ago, that because we were strong, we got called Jezebel. If I had a dollar for every time I got called Jezebel, I could pay off my house, okay? I don't like talking about Jezebel, but I'm telling you, it's a controlling spirit. It's, it's rooted in witchcraft, the occult, rebellion, perversion, all kinds of things that's rooted here. Now, a few years later, I was in a service with Marty Layton and, uh, at his church here. And, the, and I, I was worshiping the Lord. And all of a sudden, I saw a very clear image. I have visions a lot. I had a very clear image, vision, of Ursula the Sea Witch from the Little Mermaid cartoon. Y'all didn't expect that, did you? And I thought, why in the world, I'm, I'm worshiping the Lord here, why am I seeing Ursula? And I remembered what she did in that cartoon, is she stole the Little Mermaid's voice. And the Lord said, Nashville will not just be a city, will not just be music city, but I believe that God's going to make it the prophet's city. And I believe that Nashville is also going to be known as the city with a voice. Yes, musicians will continue to relocate here. Yes, musicians are still going to continue to thrive here. But I saw the Lord also moving prophets here from all over the place. I saw God raising prophets up here and strong prophetic ministries here. Not, not to just prophesy to people, but to contend like Elijah contended against the prophets of Baal and Ashtaroth.
Do you realize that here in Nashville in 2007, there was a major national gathering called The Call where 70,000 people gathered in Titan Stadium? How many of you were a part of The Call? And what they did in that, that, that stadium that day is they prayed for 12 hours over the city of Nashville. And you know what they did? They decreed that, that as a nation, we were divorcing ourselves from the spirit of Baal. I believe tonight God's called us to divorce this city from the spirit of Jezebel. For some of you that may be out there, I'm telling you, the Lord spoke to me and said, it's time that this city divorce itself from Jezebel and command her to go. And the Lord says, what we do here tonight is going to have a residual effect, an epicenter effect. It's going to have an effect of reaching out and beginning to touch things. And it's going to disempower the powers that are in that pagan temple. I'm sorry to tell you, you have a pagan temple in the heart of your city. But you do. And as those powers are broken, it's going to break what's in D.C. It's going to break what's on the West Coast. That is a Jezebel control there. And I believe that the Lord's saying, I'm going to give this city back its voice. I see secular conservative, secular conservative media people moving here from all over the country. I see corporations that are tired of liberal rulership and government moving here. I, you're going to start seeing corporations move from different places around the country here into Nashville. If you think Nashville's been exploding, get, hold on to your hats because the city of Nashville is going to continue to grow and increase and expand. And the Lord says, I'm going to pour my spirit out. You're going to begin to see revival meetings. It's not going to be like any revival meeting you've ever seen. It's because it's not about revival. It's about awakening. Charles Finney said, a revival touches the heart of a man. An awakening touches the heart of a nation. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of just praying for revivals, having some great meetings, and then going on with our lives. I want to see an awakening that touches the heart of a nation. That the United States of America wakes up to her destiny. That the United States of America wakes up and understands she's a city set on a hill. That God's got a purpose and a plan and a destiny and a calling upon this nation. And I'm telling you, if nothing else, all this confusion's cause is the church to rise up and to cry out and to hunger for more more of God, to hunger for more of the presence of Jesus, to hunger for more of the manifestation of God's glory, and to begin to see God's power released to, yes, heal the sick and raise the dead, yes, to see demons cast out, but to see it on a citywide level, to see it on a nationwide level, and God is saying, that is what I'm calling the church to do in this season of time. I'm calling the church to be that radical, to be that bold, to be that authoritative, and to understand that I've given you the power to bring this legislation to pass. Jesus name. All of you that have voice issues, lift your hands right now. Lord, I decree a release. Now, all of you that feel like, just keep your hands up. All of you that feel like your voice has been cut off, your voice of influence. Come on. I see the enemy just holding people, holding you, holding your career, holding your forward path. The Lord's made you promises, and it's like nothing. The delay is just delay, delay, delay. Right now, in the name of Jesus, lift your hands up. Father, we just decree right now, Father God, that, Lord, that this Jezebel assignment against those in this city, against the ministries in this city, against the musicians in this city, against the business peoples in, people in this city, right now we decree right now, God, that tonight is their night of breakthrough and release. We command Jezebel to loose them now. I want you to say out of your mouth, Jezebel, go. Say it again. Jezebel, go. In Jesus' name. Just now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to lead you in a decree, okay? We're going to decree this against this Jezebel spirit. Some of you that are like, oh, I don't want to do that because the devil will come get me. There's no doctrine of retaliation. <laughs> Under that, I should have been dead like 40 years ago, okay? We're covered in the blood of Jesus, guys, okay? We don't have anything to be afraid of. I'm telling you, we are the ecclesia in the earth. We're going to dance this dance of the Mahanaim. Dance this dance. As we begin to decree it, angel armies are going to begin to, to go out. Amen? That I, I knew the second I walked in here, this place was full of angels, and angel armies are here. All right? So we're going to begin to decree this right now. I want you to just say, right now in Jesus' name, we stand in the authority of the cross as anointed members of the ecclesia. 
And tonight we declare court is in session. And the judgment is being rendered against the Jezebel spirit and Python spirit that have controlled this city. Tonight in Jesus' name, we break every witchcraft power. We break every occult force. And we command Jezebel and Python to go. Witchcraft, go. Perversion, go. Confusion, go. Infirmity, go. Poverty, go. Every demonic attachment in the realm of the church controlled by Jezebel now must go. In Jesus' name. Now I want you to give a shout to the Lord.